And the situation in North Idaho involving COVID hospitalizations has gotten so bad, the Pentagon has gotten involved. The Department of Defense has sent 20 military medical personnel to North Idaho. They're going to be on site at Kootenai Health for the, at least the next 30 days. The team is intended to help alleviate staff sh shortages as hospitalizations among COVID patients, most if not all unvaccinated, continues to rise. Our Andrew Bartline has been following this story today. And Andrew, how big of a help is this going to be for those folks up there? Yeah, the biggest problem for Kootenai Health right now is a worker shortage. They simply can't keep up as hospitalizations continue to rise. And this 20 person team sent by the Department of Defense is exactly what Kootenai Health says they needed. The Department of Defense medical team arrived in Kootenai County Sunday. I've already been incredibly impressed with what I've seen. And while Major Ian McGinnis says the 20 man team is fitting right in with the staff at Kootenai Health. There's still a lot of work to do. I'm incredibly fortunate to be able to be here and provide some, some much needed offloading of that stress on this local system. Kootenai Health says their biggest struggle through the pandemic has been staffing. So the Department of Defense sent 14 nurses, four physicians, and two respiratory therapists to help lessen the burden on current staff. Dr. McGinnis here is helping me out quite a bit. That's why I'm not in scrubs today and not in the ICU. Otherwise, I probably would be. Dr. Robert Scoggins is the medical director at Kootenai Health ICU. He says many staff members are working six or seven days a week and are worn out. Getting the resources from the DOD has uh, decreased that strain some so they don't have to work as much. Uh, I know that our, you know, we don't have to call, uh, try to start calling nurses to see who can show up. Right now, Kootenai Health says they have 115 COVID patients, 40 in critical care and 20 are on ventilators. These are the highest numbers they've seen through the pandemic which is concerning as Kootenai Health says they have 240 open positions for clinical caregivers. So while the Department of Defense is offering much needed help, the problem isn't solved. I don't think we have enough yet to revert back out of crisis standards of care. Kootenai Health says they plan to get an additional 100 workers from a federal contract, which would cut their need for workers in half. I have a lot of background in taking care of very sick patients, and I, I will tell you that I've never seen anything like this. Kootenai Health fully intends to use every person available. And remember, the volumes are continuing to climb, and we have not seen that start to flatten or decline. In fact, with Labor Day and school starts and uh, uh, county fairs and other things, we think that actually the, the numbers are going to continue to climb. So we're not there yet. Kootenai Health says right now staffing is the big problem, but if hospitalizations continue to increase at these rates, oxygen, beds, other equipment could be in short supply. It's a possibility, but Kootenai says they haven't gotten there yet, despite having to expand their ICU capacity and stretch their staff thin. Last week, the governor announced the Idaho National Guard will be called into action in southern Idaho. In today's news, the DOD called into action in north Idaho. Andrew, thank you.